Ashley from Sunny Made, and today we're gonna make four at a time half square triangles. Welcome back. We are on month three of our begins, beginner skill builder sampler quilt. Um, new month, new block. So this is the block we are making this month. If you're here for our quilt along, welcome. If you're just here to watch how to make four to ten house square triangles, we're glad you're here too. Um, let's see. This month, our block. We are going to learn how to make four to time half square triangles and we're going to put them into a pinwheel. So that's what we're going to go over today. Week two, I'm going to teach you another way to make flying geese. This is actually my favorite way. It's not used too much, but I like the simplicity of it. Week three, we're going to go over sewing, so or not sewing, ironing. It's tip week, so let's talk about ironing. And then week four, we're gonna put this block all together and you will now then have three blocks for our quilt. What do you need? Okay, fabric wise, we need two squares today. These are five and a half inches. They're gonna end up as three and a half inches for our half square triangle. So you need five and a half inch background. You need a five and a half inch a pattern. You are going to need your rotary cutter and a mat. You're going to need some sort of square because we're going to square them up before we put them into our um, pinwheel. My mind just went blank. Uh, iron. Make sure your iron's nice and hot. We're going to need that make so that we get everything nice and flat and of course your sewing machine. Now, if you wanna see anything that I'm using in this video, I have put links to what I'm using that head right all over to Amazon um, down in the description box. So, I think that's it, let's get started. All right, this one is gonna be super easy, super fun, so let's get started. You're gonna take you, your five and a half inch pattern fabric, put it face side up, then you're going to just put your background fabric right on top of that. Um, I am then going to sew, just pin this so that nothing, so that it doesn't move while I'm sewing. Now, this is all you have to do. There's nothing fancy with this. You're just going to draw, draw. You're going to sew a quarter inch from the edge all the way around this square. Okay, here we have it. If you look, we sewed quarter inch on all four sides. Now we're gonna take our ruler. We're going to cut corner to corner. Pick it up without jostling it so that it doesn't move on you. And then we are gonna cut it corner to corner again. Oh, apparently I didn't do a very good job with that. Let's try that again. One, two, three. Oh man, I did it on both of them. Okay, one, two, three, four. There we go. Four pieces. As you can see here, we have our half square triangles. So what we're gonna do is finger press them open. Now the one thing you do need to pay attention to when you're working with these ones, these edges are on the bias. So as you sew them into your quilt pattern, into our um, pinwheel, we want to make sure that we're not stretching them any weird way. This will also be 
good since you are finger pressing them open. As you finger press them open, you're not gonna be stretching them really weird. So then, okay, so now that they're all finger pressed open, we're gonna hit them with the iron. Once again, you wanna be super careful that you're not stretching them any weird way. We wanna make sure we get them nice and flat. Okay, let's move that iron out of the way. Get our cutting board back. Now we want to make sure that they are square. They should be, but you know, sometimes we don't always do things right. Okay, this one has the diagonal line again. I do have a video that talks about just trimming up half square triangles. So if you want a little more information about that, I'll put it, it, I'll link it in the description. I haven't yet learned how to put that in on the screen. That's kind of a little fancy for me. So I will put it in the description in case you want to go back and see how to trim half square triangles. So pretty much we're going to line this up on the diagonal. These should be perfectly three and a half inches, three and a half inches. You shouldn't need to trim them. If you want to have room to trim them, we started off with squares that were um, five and a half inches. If you want to be able to trim them down so they're nice and pretty, you could start with six inch squares, you can go the, do the exact same thing, go along each edge all the way around the square. And then once you have cut them on the diagonal and ironed them open, they will be just a little bit bigger so that you can trim them down. Usually I do that. I prefer to have a little bit of extra wiggle room when I'm or a little extra trimming when I'm um, making my pieces. Okay, pretty much. So, oh, just for just for um, terminology, this thing right here, it's part of the seam, but it sticks out. It's a little triangle. That's called a dog ear. I'm not really. I guess it looks like a dog ear. I'm not really sure why it's called that, but. So when it says trim off your dog ears, that's what you're doing. You're trimming off your triangles. Okay, now that, look at that. First, I want to show you, we now have four half square triangles from two squares, which is super fun. Okay, now we want to put it together so that we make a pinwheel. And as you can see, our pinwheel goes this way. Honestly, it doesn't matter if you want it to do this way instead of this way. It doesn't really matter. But what we want to remember is that um, they all go the same way. So it goes white pattern, white pattern, white and pattern. The long edge is going to go towards the next long edge. Okay, so now that we have it all laid out, we're just going to flip this one over and flip this one over, and we are gonna sew a quarter inch down each of these seams. Now let me show you a little bit about this. Because of the way, because we iron them all towards the green teal fabric, um, what's really cool is when you put them together, this is called, this is nesting. We're nesting them here. So you have one seam going that way and one seam going that way. So that when you fold it over to sew this, you should be able to feel this and that they should be nested all the way up each diagonal. And see, I feel this one and I can tell that it's off. All right, 
Now we need to go get those sewn together. Okay, we have them sewn quarter inch, right down each of them. Now, for us to be able to nest them, I want you to put it so that the green side is up along, um, along the seam line. Okay, first we're going to set that, set that seam with your iron. We're going to finger press it open. And iron them open. Once again, make sure you're being careful with these half square triangles that they don't get stretched out in any weird way. Now we have our two pieces. Make sure we get them right. We're going to just fold this one up. And here I want to make sure that I pin them. We have lots of seams going on right here. So if we can pin them, they'll stay in the spot so that when we open them, all the points come together. So let's get you a little closer. Oops, wrong way. Okay, we are going to place our pin at the point where this comes down. Okay, then we're gonna pull it up. Try that again. Pull it up, find the seam below it and put it also right into that point and slide our pin in. Obviously my half square triangles didn't come out completely square because look, we have a little bit of hangover. That's okay. So now that they're pinned, we're gonna do a half or a quarter inch seam right along there. Okay, we have this all ironed. We're gonna set that seam. I'm actually gonna give the whole thing a nice iron. Ooh, that's hot on my fingers. Um, fold it open. Ow. And set it one more time. And look at that. Here we, we're focusing on how well our points come down in the middle. Actually, that's pretty good. Pretty proud of myself. Um, once I'm done, I will do a nice iron on the back. If you notice, we still have a whole bunch of fabric right there. But there you have it. All right, now that it's all put together, our points look really good. It's time for us to trim them. This should be six and a half inches square. See how we're doing everything all the same numbers. Okay, when you, this is a six and a half inch square ruler. When you go to trim it, <clears throat> excuse me, we should have the diagonal line going right along that diagonal. You should have, this is three and a quarter, and three and a quarter should be right there in the middle. It should line up nicely on that line vertically and horizontally. Now, if you'll notice, my ruler kind of rocks and that's because of all the fabric there in the middle. So you need to be super careful when you trim this. You might just want to do one side at a time instead of trying to do a side and a top. So I'm going to hold it down Go up that side, make sure I get this part. Whoops, okay, turn it. Now I know that this is nice and straight because I just trimmed it. So I'm gonna put this on. Once again, you line up the middle, you line up that diagonal. There shouldn't be much for you to trim on this but I wanted to show you how to trim it in case you do need to trim it. Now this one, I can tell, oops, let me move my hand. I didn't get it quite the right size. 
no big deal we'll make it work but there is a little bit left of that dog ear so we'll trim that off trim off the string and then our last side at this point whoops <clears throat> this is your last side all of these three sides are trimmed so you should be able if you have a six and a half inch square if you line it up with the top side and bottom all you need to do is run let me make sure i trim yep all you need to do is run your rotary cutter up the side and you have a perfectly trimmed block but each wet time you can line up that diagonal so there is our four to time half square triangles and then we put them into a pinwheel design okay and there you have it you have your pinwheel all made thanks for sticking around all the way through if you have any questions about how to make either the four to the time half square triangles or your pinwheel please leave a comment down in the comment section ask your question and i will get back to you as soon as possible of course make sure that you subscribe and like so that you can learn how to make the rest of this block and see how to make the rest of this quilt i hope you have a great day